Hello everyone. With this tutorial, I'm bringing a new idea to integrate DeepCheck test reports with Streamlit. So anyone can use the Streamlit application to select the data set they want and they could see the report based on individual test. So this video tutorial is just an idea to get someone started. In this tutorial, I'm using the deep checks reports, JSON output and parsing that JSON output to render the various individual test reports from the deep check test suite. I hope that someone would like to extend this project and make it even bigger. So this is just an idea. So, I, so let's get started. So this is the complete tutorial at the end of this hands-on lab. This application looks like that way. When you start your application, you will get a chance to select a CSV file. You can select a file and that file is loaded and we are using the Streamlit file uploader control here to select the file and as soon as the file is selected and if the file is correct, you will get some of the data set information and your selected choices data set sample. You can generate the deep checks reports and you can also generate the pandas profiling report for that selected file. So let's start with pandas profiling. The report is being generated and here is your report. So to re generate this report, we are using the pandas profiling library and we are also using the streamlit pandas profiling library. So the pandas profiling library generates the report and the streamlit pandas profiling library is what renders the report in this streamlit environment. So here is the report and anything if you are interested to look into a particular column. These are the values and finally you can see the correlations, missing values, data sample, anything else. So that's a very quick pandas profiling report and if you would want to run the deep check reports, so this is a deep checks report option for the selected data set and once your report is generated, the deep check reports is available in different keys or in these different section. So if because this check just a very simple does the data validation it does not do the training or test validation or the model validation yet it's just very early stage so if we try to look into for example a string mismatch it tells that if there is any string mismatch it also checks if there is any data duplication so these are the data duplicate it shows that how much data could be the duplicate or not so very small percent of data there is a duplication so that's a very quick a way to uh, check the deep checks reports and using their JSON output method to store the data in the local variables and then render it on the screen. So those are the three things can be done with this demo application. With the deep checks open source tool, you could perform the data validation, train and test validation, and the model analysis and validation all together with one open source library. I have hands-on lab to use deep checks to perform testing at a different level and develop your own test suite for your ML models and data. So if you are interested, please take a look at this hands-on lab. In this video tutorial, we are going to look into the deep checks library and try to integrate with Streamlit. So we could have one Streamlit application which could generate the deep checks test reports. When we talk about the data validation, data profiling, we do have a very popular tool called pandas profiling and this tool basically generate the detailed data profile related with your input data and mostly using the underneath pandas data frame structure and there is a supporting tool for pandas profiling called these streamlit pandas profiling 
and using this tool you could get your pandas profile into the streamlit application so our objective in this tutorial will be to combine the pandas profiling in streamlit and deep check data validation report everything all together in one streamlit application so let's get ourselves started to write the streamlit application from scratch so right now as you can see here my local folder deep check streamlit is all empty so we are going to create the base streamlit application here and then all of this application will be uploaded in to at my github public repo so this whole code will be available to anybody so vi you just call it app.py this will be our main app so that is our base streamlit app we have just created and i will be using python 3.9 which is running on my conda environment so conda activate python 3.9 and streamlit and streamlit application starts now it's running on localhost 85 so streamlit application started in my local machine and it's running on port 8501 and here is our base application we will close this application and we will run this application from pycharm let me open the PyCharm application mm -hmm. deep check. This is our app.py we have just created. So deep check streamlet. The application is open in here. Let's select the Python interpreter. I will be using the Python 3.9. It's here from the conda environment. Apply. And a runtime configuration will also be. I will call it py. 39 means python 33.9 and here i will be using the streamlit runtime so i could debug it so which streamlit plus streamlit location parameter will be run app.py so run is a parameter app.py is our main streamlit application file and working directory is where we are right now so that's our working directory looks everything set here okay and if we try to put breakpoint here run our application streamlit is started and here we hit our breakpoint if we run it our application is running so all the environment is all set for us to work now so this is our streamlit application so we will define main so that will be our main so we can say with streamlit dot sidebar dot header so that will be the left side for streamlit okay so we need to source data selection so people st dot sidebar dot write data set okay so that will be our main and now we can if name equals set page config so we need to set the page title so we just call it deep checks streamlit application layout we call it white so it will be wider page design main so that will be our application save it run it here is our left side panel and that's where we are going to create a loader to load the csv file whether from 
local file system or the URL and that would be the our file which can be used for profiling. So this is the deep checks data validation script where we are loading the deep checks module and then with this full suite we are just running this suite.run df and it generates the report and finally if you would want to save that report as a json or a html you could export that report deep checks also supports json output so this is the html report and here is the json output so in this application we are going to use the json output to show various streamlit ui tests coming out from deep checks profiler so source data will be our sidebar dot file uploader so we are going to use the file uploader so upload or the select source which we call it csv data and then the type will be selected as csv and if somebody does not have various data sets so i do have click code data sets here so this url can be added as a url in case somebody needs it samples at web and this could be my csv samples and if the source data is selected then so if source data is not none then it's gonna be able to start otherwise your source data to get started so file uploader is there which will let user to select a file from local file system or url and the source data will be the file here so let's check this application runtime so please select your source data to get started actually that should be the st.error so we are in sidebar and because we are in here so if source data should be outside otherwise we end up in sidebar with so that's why we came out so it, that message should be visible here and we just create a main header here so st dot header and we just call it deep checks data so this shows please select your source data and here is source data load and here we could select i have local file so this data set is selected now so it's a very simple code to read a data set if source data is there so we could create a data loader so we call it i'll call data loader dot pi and import pandas as pd find read load data set and you need to tell us what is your source data and we just say df equals pandas dot read csv source data return df and reason i have written this way is that tomorrow if you would want to make this code a little more extensible to read the excel csv like a various file we could have the read csv read excel and then we can have written df so now the read will work and we can say import data loader and data loader will be the one which is going to load the data so data loader dot read csv and this will be our source data and its return will be the data frame so now we have data frame available and if df 
if df is not none, which is so read load data set, going to get data set. If df is not none, so now we know if df is not none, only then we can go further. So here we are. We have said if df is not none, just write here the sample data frame. And there you go. So we could read our data frame and we have shown the 10 records. So our objective will be that once the data set is read by our system, we could give user a choice whether they want to show the pandas profile data or they want to run the deep check report. So let's take a look and write the menu option here. So we could say if df is not none, it means user choice will be, we just call profiling, will be choices, sidebar, select box, and will be user choices. And the result of this will be selected choice. So choice is selected here. And if select choice is not none, now we can see. Okay, if so, if selected choice equals data set sample, it will write the sample here. Else, if basically we are doing this, okay, and st dot write and it's going to write the profile second will be the deep check report and the third will be lf select choice equals will be and as profiling st.info you can say total selected data set has we can say df dot shape so rows plus rows and it will be numeric so we need to convert to str and it will have selected data set has rows and plus str df shape dot one okay so that's our deep check okay now we may check one more time so data set deep checks report these are the choices if select is not none. Okay. Okay. Let's select local file system. And as you see here, that data set sample is the default choice. Deep check report will come here or the pandas profiling report will come here. So depending on what we want to perform, we could make a selection. If you would want to cache that data, we could cache that data actually have this caching here so we have caching and data set keep check report find us profiling next step let's add the streamlit and us profiling so we can invite that data here. So data check and does profiling, it will be here. So let's add here, we call file and does profiling.py from and does profiling import profile report will be data frame and explorative should be true. It means the report will have all that navigation built into with columns and rows and everything else coming with that. And its return will be df report. And we are doing this way so we could return, we could 
write better code here in case in future we want to do it. So df report will be used here. So import, we just call it pandas profiling. So that will be our code here. And if pandas profiling is selected, so pandas profiling dot report and this report will be generated for us and that will be using here. So df report will be here. And now if you want to show that report here, we would want to select the pandas profiling import st profile report. So this profile report is what will be used here, st profile report, and that will use this df report. And here will be our, so we can say pandas profiling report and header is already there so that we could use st.write so here we have set up the pandas profiling choice and this choice generate the report we get the report and then we use this st profile report function which is part of the streamlit pandas profiling and we pass this df report object which renders here so after we have added this pandas profiling code, let's check our application. Application runs. Let's select the data set. It's read by system. It's available. So pandas profiling before we select panda profiling. Let's come back here, select pandas profiling and hit a breakpoint here. Make sure we hit it correctly. And now we select pandas profiling. Our breakpoint is hit. We can go next line and generate report. And at this point, we are going to render the report. Here is the console. As you see here, the 20% of the data set is processed. And we can take a look into here. And UI shows that the backend is generating the report. So we have to wait until the report will be generated completely. Come back here, see the progress. There is 42%, some of the issues were there. And as you could see, everything is done and we can come out from our debugger. Let's remove these two hit points. And here is our report. So this report is available and depending on how much experience you have with pandas profiling report here you could get look into the histogram common values extreme values that's the age you can also get the correlation is like high correlation for other interactions you could see here they are really look like correlations at the bottom, missing values, samples. So it's a very good profile related data is available for us. So we have data sets sample. We also have the pandas profiling. And next our job will be to add the deep check reports here. Now for the deep check, we can create another file it's called the deep deep checks report file import we need JSON because it's gonna be JSON data and then from deep checks dot suites import so we will say define generate DC report and we need to pass the data frame here. So suite equals full suite and this is called deep check report equals suite dot run and we need to pass the data frame. 
so that will be our report so this report is the one will be DC report so now we have got the DC report if we have data frame we got DC report and will be render DC report so we are going to call the render DC report here so DC report dot so this DC report is going to have this to JSON and this report will be the JSON result so we need to do JSON dot loads so this whole report will be loaded for us so now we have the JSON results and we will check it out return JSON result Deep check report this is our JSON port look like so it has a name and it has the result so results have everything so name will be the full suite and results so we need to get the name and results okay and then these result has the keys so we need to get these keys also so we could show those keys into the left side item so what our objective will be our objective will be that whenever somebody select the deep check reports all those keys will be listed here so user can select whatever report they would want to render here so we can have if name in json result so we can get name is equal to json result and get the name same thing we had the another item was the results results so if the results is available we can get results here and then we need to get result keys so result keys are array and we can say if result is not none and the length of results is greater than zero then we can say the result keys equals to then we need to get a function where we could get all the keys here so we could say define get all keys and they need to pass this results here so we can take this result and that will have all the keys here results so result we need to define here result is actually none and you can say name is also none so now we have defined name and results result keys and the, our return will be we will pass name from here we will pass results from here and we will pass results keys from here now let's see results so we need to get all keys so we can say all keys are empty all right so length is already being checked so we don't need to check the length again so for item in results you can say the item json will be the item and that item we have to load as a json loads and if name in item json all keys dot append is going to be item json item json of name and return all keys so data frame will be passed json result will be created we will take the name and results and from results we will get all the keys and all those keys will be sent so these three items will be sent to us so here render dc report and that's where it is so let's put a 
break here and that's what we are going to see and now we can show so st dot write will be the deep check reports type and results will be a json value so we could actually say st dot json it can write a whole json so result will be the all the results here and the keys will be left written left side in the side so let's come back there as first let's make sure this code is working and we can put the breakpoint here so we could get correctness it's tested here okay let's go tape check reports so we have got results because okay, so results are okay and here loads should be json loads It's working now so all the keys should be here so we got result keys so all the keys are there model info column info results it means the code is up to here as you could see here so these are the JSON result from deep checks so deep checks reports are working and that's the data set so if we run this code deep check reports are listed here so these are the deep check reports so now we could go ahead and implement our left side sidebar to show the selection list here when the deep checks is selected we could actually render the list of those keys so those keys are basically these keys model info column info confusion matrix report performance report roc report etc here deep check report type is the name so that will be the type and results are just for debugging this is just we are putting for debugging so we can say if length of these result keys so if result key is greater than zero so that's our objective here is if it is greater than zero then we can say st dot sidebar dot select box and we say select deep check report type and selection will be the result keys and this deep check selection will be coming out from here and we can say the deep check selection is initially is none it means initially we will say and if deep check selection is not none so that path is open for us now we can create a method which is like a rendering the json results and so we just type here say new json result.py and the result will be rendered from there so import json result and this will pass this result here and then it's gonna be rendered there so let's import json result so json result will be dot vendor result and it's going to pass the whole results so these results will be passed and the selection whatever the selection is being sent from here so these two will be sent here so first let's use the import streamlet as st and st dot json and we're gonna be selecting the key 
because we need to select if this value is matched with selected field here. So if length of results is greater than zero, first we need to check and this is selection. So we can say that for item in results, item JSON is equal to JSON dot loads and it's going to load the item and if item should have a name so name in item json so that will validate and the item json of name should be equal to the dc selection and if these two matches then the selected report will be empty Otherwise, return selected report and selected report will be the item JSON and it should break here. So we have passed this and this result will be visible here. So we could say that if this result is the selected DC result will be a JSON value here and we could st dot json and we can see here so it's rather than seeing all those results now we could select only the one result which is coming out from the left side see so we will select deep check reports and that's get result keys result keys are if there selection is there model info let's see there you go very good so we're, all those lists are lists are built into and depending on what you select they should filter value here so we need to make sure we are filtering oh this is so we are already showing it we need to hide this we don't need this all results select data set now select the deep check report and model info is this because we don't have any model if you look into the data duplicates you could see some of this result okay so here is what so data duplicates data duplicates and here is summary condition table value display so depending on type of report you choose a string mismatch so that's how we would be able to see the results now what we need to do is that we need to show this value in little more formatted way and that would be our target to show the results here so let's look into the report and format it as you could see here there are some pattern name is there and then params are there then header is there in summary and display and display also has these pi tuples so if we look into a report such as data duplicates because there are some duplicates records so here you see header summary condition table and then value and then display so we just really need to show this value and we also have these tuples rendered so we need to take care of name params name header summary condition tables value and display <coughs> so this report so if this is match we will say break loop and here we will say break so if match is there then loop will break we don't need to further look into so render deep checks test results and here we need to find so we need to say define select deep checks a specific item so this selected report 
is basically the item it's just a one single item we have so this is the one single item so render is going to be called so this function will call here and it will get the selected item from here and now we need to check in this report whether we have selected items or not so result json put json so we have json item and we can say if name in here then we need to get name header so very first is name header is here header and summary so let's use header and summary 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 and we just call it info so we have that summary next we need to do the condition table and if the length of condition table is greater than zero then we can say table and we just pass this condition table so the condition table will be print and then next we have display we also need to show the values condition table and value and then display so let's use the value and we just call it success for a while so that's the value and then we need to use the display the selected for display and for now we can say st dot json and display data one more time so if you select display is an array so if you select display value will be an array so we have to process it so it will be a length so it will be if length of display data is greater than zero if length of display data is greater than zero then we need to select every so for display item in display data and then we need to select so now we got every item so zero one two so the key will be the multiple so it the first column will be html second column will be the zero so let's get this space with display item display data so we need to say that if high tuple in display item if it is there then we can say item data will be the display item and it should be the pi tuple and so that will be the item here so what we can do is that we can look into this item data we can say st dot write item data let's see and then put a breakpoint here because i have to understand what values are coming selecting the file performing the deep check report so item data is like that so str check is relevant so it means that the list will always have the type and the value so there should be two item so model info some of given let's select the data duplicates data duplicates and here a status so that's the table is render so class str to find us data frame so that's table issue we have one and the second issue so when we are trying to condition table st dot table is condition table so that should be the data frame so if you see here so we are loading condition table but it should be the json value so we are making one mistake here so json dot loads should fix this problem and second here in this tuple so if the length of item data is equal to two there must be two values so we need to say 
header item will be the item data the zero and the value will be value item will be the number one so now we can say for each loop we have to write that value say pi tuple so we can say here is none and value item is also the none and if header item is not none and value item is not none okay so these are not none if that is the case now we can look into what kind of values are okay let's so if that's the way so we because header item could be right here we have seen str so if header item in so we have str we have html if this is there so we could say str dot write value item if it is the data frame elif header item is the data frame then st dot data frame and then we can pass the else if pass the value item and I'm not sure if we need to JSON load because we have to JSON. I think that should fix our whole writing to the okay. So check is irrelevant. So here we are dumping the raw result data duplicate, and as you could see here that. property so here this is the right data we have written here the we have written the data duplicates so this was our test check for duplicates sample in the data set here is the value status if we look into the other string mismatch src property must be a valid json object because we are writing stjson we don't need to write here because we are not returning any anything from here so this deep checks returns nothing here because previously it was returning so we can and there you go so this should be our test here could select run this deep checks report and here is the model info report performance report here is the performance if we want to do the spatial characters none if we would want to do the label ambiguity label ambiguity is without label we can look into column info there is all the column info so if somebody would want to go a little more deeper they can extend it but i think this idea of having the reports coming out from deep checks can be rendered to streamlit would be a great project for somebody and in this project we have used the json output coming out and display checks so this is what we have done and then see realize output and this is what the check results really renders in this Jupyter notebook output and at the same times our pandas profiling report does work and our data set sample is also working so if somebody want to create some eda related work along with here they can also extend this example So after we have completed our demo so these are the files python related code we have generated in our project and all of that code was created in this pycharm ide 
So let me push this code to the GitHub server. Deep checks, streamlit, sample. So this should be okay. Now we can look into my public repo, public code, machine learning, deep check streamlit, and here are all the files available for anyone to try it. So in this project, we have covered the pandas profiling combined with the deep checks test report. And depending on a particular user requirement, deep check reports as well as the pandas profiling reports can be seen in this streamlit application. This project was just an idea for someone to even build a bigger and better application. I'm glad to have you during this video presentation with me and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my another video. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Please like it, share it and subscribe it.